Established in 2012, once again by a former home brewer and lawyer, Smart Mouth has helped to shape the Hampton Roads area beer scene and filled it with craft beer for the masses. They pride themselves on producing well-crafted beer with no strings attached. The Pilot House location, which we visited on this trip, is actually pretty new, only having been occupied since December of 2017. It's housed in a former post office and produces all of the small batch beers we'll be sampling in the second half of the video. The location has a little kids area, an outdoor patio on the front loading dock, an outdoor area in the rear of the building, complete with picnic tables, and large open spaces in the interior for hanging out. Smart Mouth distributes their core line throughout the entirety of Virginia, but you can walk away from the pilot house with crowlers to go of whatever you need. Smart Mouth also gives a lot back to the community and donates about $3 from each barrel to community charities, which we think is pretty admirable. More establishments, not just breweries, should be doing the same. Well, we got a lot of beer to cover, so let's dive right in. Hey guys, Andy and Sandra back again for another brew review. Today we are at Smart Mountain, Virginia Beach, our fourth and final stop, unfortunately, in the area. Smart Mountain has graciously let us come on site and shoot, so thank you guys so much. It's really appreciated. Big shout out to Courtney. Thank you. Yeah. We have four, four here and we're gonna run through these real quick uh, because we have another four sitting over here. We're gonna start with number one. It is a Saison. Yep, it's called the Alter Ego and it comes in at 6.2%. All right, awesome. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, it's highly drinkable. No, that's, that's good, I you like You like that. Saisons I a like lot, Saison. what do you think? And I like that. Yeah? It's your classic Saison, it's done well. It's balanced. I'm getting a lot of that, the Belgian notes. Belgian is a good word. Yeah, that's good. It's yeasty, a little bit tart. Yep. I like it. Those I are like all that. the flavors you should get in a Saison. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a one of four, actually. Oh. Uh, even though I don't really like Saisons a lot of the time, um, I would probably go out on the limb and drink this one. I'll give that a four and a half. It's also 6.2%, so that's also a nice ABV to be at. Yeah, that's kind of about those. right. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so the second one we have today is called Murphy's Law. This is an amber ale uh, coming in at 5.8% and 35 IBUs. Doesn't look ultra, ultra clear. Actually, yeah, it does. This is just condensation right yeah. here. Cool. All right, so let's try it. Amber in color. And I'm not getting a lot, of, uh, a lot of the smell, actually. It's supposed to be nice and malty. Uh, it is malty, yeah, for sure. Definitely got that big malt kick to it. I'm yeah. also getting some roastiness to this, which is nice. That's, that's actually quite good. I feel like this might, this might be another one of those breweries where we're like, everything is awesome. Yeah, that one's good too. It's yeah. roasty, it's malty, it's smooth, it's under 6%, so that's always nice. It's got like slight coffee notes to it, very slight. I think that's just the malt. Cocoa nibs, perhaps? I don't think so. It's just extra malt, or it could be the style of the malt. Super malty, yeah. I like it. Um, gonna go with the three and a half on that one, actually. It's okay. a little bit, a little bit bitter on the on the back. Maybe I'm just not in the mood for it. It's like 115 degrees today. I just want lighter beers. I give it a four. I think it's done well. A nice balance in there. It has lots of body to it, and I like that it's a little maltier. It's not like malt heavy or anything like that. Mm. But... It's pretty good. I dig it. Game on. IPA coming in at 6.7 percent and. 35 IBU. 45 IBU. Oh, okay, 45. There's supposed to be some... It's citrusy, tropical-y tropical citrusy, tropical. yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely has a hot punch to it. What do you think? It's citrusy, mm -hmm. getting the tropical notes, but whatever hops they're using in this, is different than what I'm used to on a typical IPA. It's definitely a, a, a distinct hop flavor in this one, which yeah. I wasn't expecting. So that mixed It smells with, like it too, actually, yeah, now that, you mention it. That mixed with the tropical and the citrus notes 
is just a little off to me. I'm not good enough to point out exactly yeah, what hop that, that is, um, but it's something different. Yeah, I, I mean, I like that. Uh, I think I'll I'll go three seven five on it. A little under four. It's good. Uh, just has a just has a different taste to me. I'll give it a three and a half. Okay. Yeah. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Personally, whatever hop they used in that is is a little weird on my taste buds. It yeah. just depends on your palate, really. It's a personal thing. Um, I'm indifferent on this one. Like yeah. I, I can tell it's there, but so it's I'm not. not a deal for it's you. not a deal breaker. So this last one is a. Uh, it's called a summer fling, and it's only available spring through summer. So it's a. That makes sense. Four ish, four ish, but it's also. Um, limited release. It's a uh, Hefeweizen. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. So, it's coming in at 5%. Uh, smells like a Hefeweizen. Mm -hmm. It's a Hefeweizen, that's for sure. It's just a little generic, I think. It kind of tastes like... <laughs> it tastes like a, it tastes like a Hefeweizen. Like you would expect a Hefeweizen to... Now that I think about it, I am tasting a little bit more coriander. That banana is a little bit more predominant in this half of Eisen compared to some of the ones we've had before. It is. Um, it's but more I, up front. I love bananas, so for me that's a plus. It's but fine. It's better than clove overtaking yeah. your half of Eisen, let me tell you that. I love the colors of this, by the way. It's like this nice, like, milky orange. Yeah. It looks really nice. It looks like orange juice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. For me, it's like, it's good. It's well done, um, but it's slight, ever so slightly generic, I think. Um, there's nothing really that stands out about it. It's a half of Eisen. So, well done. I'll bump it to a four. I think it's a three and a half. Okay. Yeah. It's good. It's I mean, fair. Yeah. It's a bit more on the heavier banana side. So if you don't like bananas, that could be a problem, but overall it's fine. I mean, it's, it's good. Decent beer. Yeah. Well, so that's the core four. So all four of these beers are in cans and they are distributed uh, at local grocery stores around the areas. And like Total Wines and Yeah, Total Wine shops. has them. If you have those bottle shops in the area, um, just keep your eye out for those. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do the next four, which are all seasonals, and they all rotate. Um, so hang tight, and I'll be right back with those. Okay, so here's the other four. These, like I said, are all seasonal offerings. Uh, we've got some pretty interesting ones here, starting with number one, Mata Yogi? Yeah. So this is a Goza, and it's a blueberry raspberry Goza. Looks pretty. I like the color already. It does. Yes, that color is so maybe so I can vibrant. Try this first because you're not. <laughs> That's a big true. Fan. That's true. Lots of blackberries on the nose. Actually, no, that's raspberry. What do you think? Is it dangerous? Mm -mm. Or is it brilliant? That's good. Actually, it's quite yeah. refreshing. A lot of berry flavor in this one, like but a we're not, lot. We're not talking medicinal berry, like. Oh, no, 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 no. This no, is no. like fresh berries. It's fresh. Like fresh blackberries, fresh raspberry. Yeah. It's definitely not extract. No, that's fresh. That's nice. It's not over overly tart either. Like it's, it's not a big puckered goza. It's tart enough to make you want to drink more of it. Yeah. What are you going with on this one? Since you're, that, the, you're the goza queen. I'll give that a four. That's good. Yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the four too. That's fair. I think it's good. But we'll go ahead and move on to the next. So that is the Missing Digit IPA. Okay. So is this like a standard IPA? No, it's actually an IPA made with hemp. What? That's, that's a trend now. A lot of breweries are doing, not a lot, but there's a few breweries doing that now. I don't taste any hemp. No, it's definitely, it's not like a, what was that called? Yeah, the Hemper. Yeah, the Hemper. New so Belgium it, came out with if, a beer. If you've ever had the Hemper from New Belgium, um, it's not like that at all. Um, that, that's an interesting beer. 
That one was an interesting beer. I'm not getting any sort of like hemp quality to it. I don't know what hemp would have to do with the brewing process or where that's added or what effect it has. If you do know, be sure to leave down the comments and let us know. I'm getting um, a nutty taste in there and I think it's maybe the hemp sea that they're using. It's, it's, it's so subtle. subtle. You can't really taste what it is. You're just like, what is that in grain? To me, the hops are overtaking that Very, the hemp sea flavor. Yeah. It's just a little nutty. That's pretty much it. I'd drink it. Yeah, I would drink it again. Sure. I think it a three and a half. Yeah. Me too. Three and a half. Yeah. Pretty good. Above average. It's good. So the next pretty beer is a raspberry golden ale. Look at and that color. The interesting thing about this beer is that it's gluten-free. So Ooh, what? normally gluten-free beer is mm. atrocious. So I'm excited to drink this beer and uh, find out what it tastes like. <laughs> I'm not. Find expert out. commander. It better be expertly good. What style is this? It's a golden ale. Okay. Uh... Alright, so based off of gluten-free beers that I've had before in the past, this is good. I don't drink beer to drink gluten-free beer. Yeah. So maybe a little overdone on the raspberries, um, but it's still good. Um, just yeah, for gluten-free gluten -free beer, beer eh, not really my thing. It's not what I really, eh, it's not what I really gravitate towards. But it's cool that you guys have the option. If you're looking for a place to find some good gluten-free beer, I would definitely recommend that. That's the best gluten-free beer I've ever had. What would you give it? Uh, on the What's merit, your rating? On, on the merit of me drinking the beer, I give it a three. But on the merit that that it exists at all in this area. Mm -hmm and it's actually pretty decent, I give it a four. So, take your pick. I give it a four because I could drink that not realizing it's That's gluten a gluten free. free beer. <laughs> I'd be fine with it. I think it's a raspberry golden meal. It sticks to what it is. And for what for it being a gluten free beer, that's good. Neato. Let's move to the very last beer. This one is a... Tina Matua. Coconut. Pale ale? You don't now, like coconut. <laughs> I was gonna say, I really dislike coconut very much, but now I'm in it. It doesn't smell like coconut to me, it smells like... Yeah, I know I have something here. Ah, yeah. That's coconut, yeah. <laughs> I love coconut, and I love anything coconut. My problem with coconut? is that it reminds me of Banana Boat uh, sunscreen lotion. This one time uh, I had it fly into my mouth and that's why I don't like to yeah. consume coconut. If, <laughs> I mean, I know it sounds weird, but like that, that scarred okay. me for a long time. Well, it's a time to get over that stuff. Nah. It reminds me of the toasted coconut marshmallows I would eat as a kid. You For anybody, coconut marshmallows? Yes. They're seasonal and Kraft comes out with them like I think around September and they're Kraft marshmallows just tossed in like toasted brown coconut. So I, do you for those that? people that like know what I'm talking about, <laughs> it's re they're really good if you like coconut. Or maybe it's not Kraft but it's, it's a big like marshmallow candy maker that produces them. I'm loving the smell. Yeah. I knew you'd like it. That's I... like a slice of coconut pie. but. The toastiness, the kind of roastiness of coconut, the sweetness of the pie. I want those flavors in the fall, along with the pumpkin beers, along with all that other stuff. A little too dessert-like for a hot summer day. I don't, I don't want a sweet slice of coconut pie on a hot summer day. Me neither. What are you going to go with it? Four and a half. Yeah, that's pretty high. It's really good. They nailed it on that coconut. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a four on that one. Even though I don't like coconut and I don't really like this beer, there's somebody out there that does. I gotta give it credit for what it is, but it's not me. That's different good. strokes for different folks though. All right guys, well that's it for today from Smart Mouth Pilot House in Virginia Beach. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell button down below to get notified when new videos come out. Until next time, we are on to the next. Cheers.
All right, well, that does it. <clears throat> All right, well, that does it for us today. Uh, okay, one more time. Well, that's it for today. Well, that's it for us today from Smart Mouth Pilot House. Uh, that sounded weird. My tongue isn't working. That's it for today from... That's it for today from... Well, that's it for today from Smart Mouth Pilot House in Virginia Beach. Well, that's it for us today at Smart Mouth Pilot House. In Virginia Beach. <laughs> Well, that's it for today from Smart Mouth Pilot House in Virginia Beach. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like. <laughs> Where am I going from there? Something about. Thanks for tuning in. Okay. Bell button's important. Well, that's it for today from Smart Mouth in Virginia Beach. Smart Mouth Pilot House. Dang. I almost had it. Just go for be sure to like. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button down below to get notified when new videos come out. Until next time, we're on to the next. Oh, I feel like I can do this. All right, guys. Well, that's it from Smart Mouth Pilot House in Virginia Beach. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below and get notified. Uh, okay. Once again. Until next time, we are. We are idiots. All right, guys. Well, that's it from Smart Mouth Pilot House in Virginia Beach. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button down below to get notified when new videos come out. Until next time, we are. We've been Andy and Sandra. We are Andy and Sandra. All right, guys. Well, that does it for us today. We. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. That's it. Yeah, that was right. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today from Virginia. From Virginia. Me. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard. Man, I don't know, man. The outro is f***ing difficult. It's the outro is the hardest part right, of the guys, whole thing. Well, All these X Y Zs in there. And that's Smart what's throwing me off. Pilot House here in Virginia Beach. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the bell <laughs> button below. All right, well then you do it. <laughs> oh, my brain it hurts so bad. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe <laughs> on the bell button below. Damn it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. It's hard. Because you fucked me up. Twice. I didn't do nothing. That was not me. Maybe hey, if we get even more drunk, we can nail it. <laughs> Our job is tough. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in from Smart House here in Virginia Beach at their pilot house. It's not called Smart House. It's called Smart Mouth. Ready? Yes. Our lives are so hard, all we do is go around to different breweries and drink their beer. Talk about it. There should be like a donation fund to our cause or something. We have it so rough. Yeah, hey guys, welcome to Brew Review. This is Andy and Sandra, blah, 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 blah. What do you think about that? Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I should have waited. <laughs>